Hi there! So today I'm going to be planting up my zonal geraniums that I've been saving for, well, some of them this will be my second year and some of them this will be my first year that I've saved them. So basically uh, last year and the previous year I dug up all of my geraniums that I had planting in the ground or in planters and I cleaned them up really good, got all the soil off of the roots and I wanted to store them for the winter so that I could use them again the following year, which is right now. And uh, so I hung them upside down in paper bags and I've been storing them in my basement all winter. Now, I was supposed to be checking on them about once a month to make sure they're not dead or they don't need a uh, spritz with a little bit of water because you don't want them to like dry up completely and shrivel up and die. Um, I did spritz them a couple of times, but I didn't actually open the bags and like look in there. Uh, and I didn't do that because last year I only did that like a couple of times and there really wasn't anything that was too glaring in there that I needed to toss or to get rid of. So I was like, oh, they're probably fine. And I honestly just kind of forgot about it. Um, but anyway, today I'm going to be planting them up because it is uh, six weeks before our last frost date. Well, it's actually sooner than that. I probably could have done this a couple of weeks ago, but I've been so busy. So um, we're gonna do it today. And I thought it's such a nice, beautiful, sunny, blue sky outside today. today. Max is sitting here enjoying um, all the birds that are coming to eat the snacks that he put out there. So I thought, you know what, maybe I'll go out there uh, and pot up my geraniums outside on the deck and Max can watch us do that. Of course, the birds won't be out there while I'm doing that because I'll scare them away, but at least we can go out there and he can watch us do that. But anyway, I just thought maybe you guys would want to come along and uh, hang out with us while we plant up our geraniums. So, all right, let's go. Oh, oh you want to play? Are you my little cheetah boy? Are you going to play? Yeah. Get him. Get him, buddy. Let's go see how they are. I still have my Valentine's decorations up there. All right, so this is where I have all of my geraniums in these paper bags. And you can see they're upside down and they've actually bloomed while they've been in here. See that? Those are new blooms. Because I took all the blooms off before I put them in here. Let's open it up and just, uh, let's look in here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, these look like complete death, but there's some life right there. All right, let's grab all these, get them outside, and get them planted up, watered, and fertilized. So I'm going to open these up, and like I said, these are all either last year's or the previous year's that I've saved twice, and I don't know which ones are which, but... I'm gonna pull these out. It's tangled up. And it looks like complete death, uh, but it is living. You can see there's new growth on it in lots of different spots. Like there's some new growth right there. And there's some new growth right there, brand new growth. So what I'm gonna do is just go in and peel off all this dead country stuff like this, all the dead country leaves. See that all over the place. It's a new, it's new growth. Just clean it up. And then after you clean off all these country leaves, you want to just inspect the entire plant and make sure it's still like living. And this is very hard to do because th like this stem right here, 
it's brown um i don't really see much green on it at all and even when i like squeeze that part it's a little bit smushy but at the tip of it you can see the new growth let's see i don't even know if you can see this so i'll get closer here but this stem right here you can see it's a little bit smushy can you see that uh but at the end of it there's that new growth right there and it's green so that's fully alive and once we plant this up water it and fertilize it see look at that that's new it actually bloomed in the bag uh and fertilize it this will start to hydrate these stems and it is insane what happens to this plant it literally goes from looking like death to a beautiful geranium plant so we're going to continue to do this with the rest of them and i'm pretty sure everything looks fine i might clip that one off just because i don't really see anything at the end of it maybe i'll clip it right there because it's connected to this one there's a little bit of green at the end of that one but boy you'd be surprised what survives um i might just go ahead and clip that one right there but honestly the rest of it looks pretty good cleaning them try to clean up my keep my mess cleaned up here but you just keep cleaning off the dead bits that one you can see that one's completely broken so I'll, I'll just cut that right off and all these so if you can see it bloomed in the bag all these little pink blooms here it's just amazing and you know geraniums aren't cheap i actually grew a bunch of them from seed this year and they are really really easy to grow from seed i had actually a little bit too easy. I have a ton of them right now. I'll have to show you there on my counter because I'm like trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them now because I can't plant them outside anytime soon. Uh, we're still pretty cold here in Michigan. Uh, but yeah, there's so there's that geranium. I'm going to leave these new the new growth on here, but I'll pick, pick off the buds. that off so there's that one that one looks pretty good I'm gonna clip that little thing off right there but yeah that looks great see the new growth on there it's a little janky and weird I mean I could cut that off and correct it but we'll just leave it see what it does I'm gonna cut this off see that's like dead um, just give that a little snip. Alright, this one. I do have the colors on here. So this is Lilac Lavender. I believe this is a proven winner one. So this one I just overwintered this past year. This is a new one. We'll see how it does. It did, I do have blooms on it from the winter in the bag. So, um, that one I'm going to leave on. But yeah, we'll just get off all the crunchy bits. These ones were really pretty. I think I had these up on my front porch in a mixed container. So some of these I'm going to cut off. Just that tip there. But honestly, the rest of it looks pretty good. And I know you're probably thinking like, is this girl nuts? <laughs> like what's going on in her head? Probably not much. You guys, I'm telling you, I thought the same thing last year. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, 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 not gonna happen. And then a few weeks later, not even weeks, like a few days later, these th things started looking completely different. It was insane. All right. Okay, so that's lavender. These two were 
pink. So, oh yes, I put second ear on there. You can see pink second ear. So I'm gonna put the bag right there so I know. Okay, here's another lavender one. And this may look like oh, a lot of work, but for me, it's fun. It gives me uh, just joy to see how this pile of death goes to a living, beautiful plant. It's so much fun. And, you know, like I said, geraniums are not cheap. So it's fun too. Okay, so that, I've never had this before. This one does have a little bit of mold on it. So that's probably something you would look for throughout the winter when you're supposed to look once a month and check for mold. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like uh, some fuzzy, I don't know if you can see it, but on that one right there, there's sort of some like fuzzy mold on there. So I'm going to uh, take my scissors and just uh, clip that right off. Yeah, and this one's pretty small, but we'll see how it does. I might clip I don't know it's so hard to tell because like last year I did this and the stems were super squishy and it, it was nuts how once I got them planted and, and watered like they just rehydrated themselves so I'm, I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it like this we'll see what happens okay so we got pink lilac lavender all right and then I'm just gonna continue to do this with the rest of my geraniums uh, i've got some more pink this is the second year so i've had these for this is the second time i've done this on these all right so let's get these all cleaned up and then uh keep going and then we'll get them planted I've got let's see one two three four five six that I saved this is my second year and these are just like some random pink colors I don't know the actual kind because I didn't save the tags but if you look on here can you see all the new growth the white growth popping out it's actually amazing and then these are four boldly dark red geraniums that I saved last year so this will be the first time I plant these up and then these are the lavender rose I think I wrote the wrong name on the bag but that's the tag for those two and then I'm just gonna plant them in these these are pots with soil from last year and the idea behind this you guys is just to get them planted up get them growing for the next several weeks until I get them in their proper homes for the summertime and that's that's what we're gonna do we'll, we'll plant them and just keep them downstairs in the basement until they're ready to be planted in their regular spot so let's see i think we'll go ahead and put might actually need another pot we'll see but oh there's a tag in there Ooh, the wakiki sunset lissamakia that was so pretty last year. So we'll just kind of mix this up. And this soil has been outside all season, so it's already really uh, damp and wet. Um, but I will, I will uh, water them in anyway. It's as easy as this. I'm literally just going to grab a geranium and stick it in the dirt. Make sure it's in there sturdy. Might do like two smaller ones in here with it. 
That's all we're gonna do. Just like that. Just loosen this one up a little. There's no nuts in here from the squirrels, huh, bud? The squirrels like to hide their nuts in here. This one is a little smaller. I wonder if I could fit all four of the red ones in here. It might be too much. I bet I could. Well, I did bring my gloves out. I probably should put my gloves on, but it feels good to touch the dirt. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put the two lilac ones in here. And we'll find another container for the red. I guess I could put one red one in here. Let's do that. So I think I have another tag. So these are the lilacs. Or what I keep call lavender. And then we'll put one little red one in here. Because like I said, they're just staying in here for the time being until they produce foliage and it's ready to take them outside. We'll put that red tag in there. Let's get this loosened up. gray pot down there I could use. Perfect. Alright. Those are pink. I'm gonna go get another pot. Got one pink one left. the second year on that well actually the third year and then I got three red ones we'll get in here oh it's such a nice day out here today okay so I'm gonna put the red right in front of this one that I've got a red tag. That way I know this is, I don't know, in my mind I can keep keep track of them. But um, there we go. So I have these four containers. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 geraniums I saved from last year. And uh, we'll get these put down in the basement and get them, get them going for this season. Pretty excited. They're going to be beautiful. I know it looks nuts right now and you're probably thinking I'm out of my mind. <laughs> um, but I promise you, like, unless there's like a catastrophe, I promise you, you're going to be like, what? What? It can't be possible. But it is. Before I take them downstairs, I'm going to water them and fertilize them real quick. I'm just going to mix up this organic uh, fertilizer and get that going through the through the water. Um, these are actually my geraniums that I grew from seed. <laughs> and look how big and beautiful they are. But I've got them up here because uh, I was going to try to figure out something to do with them. I was thinking about possibly giving some to my mom because she wants some for her honey baskets this year. And then I, I was thinking about trying to up plant them in a bigger pot. I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to like 
get some ideas. I bought this fertilizer actually to fertilize these geraniums and I only fertilized them twice because they were getting so big. I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I don't, I'm not even gonna fertilize them. So I've only fertilized these twice and I, fe I seeded them on February 3rd and it's like April 16th or 17th today. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just like, I, I, I could have waited a little bit. I'm just gonna fill this halfway through, halfway up and put it in my little container here. And then I like to clean it, clean it out. Okay. Um, but anyway, I'll probably wait, if I do it next year, I'll probably wait a couple of weeks. <laughs> because I got at least three to four weeks before I can bring stuff outside here in Michigan. All right, let's go water those. And then I'll probably just leave them out here for about 15 minutes or so and let any extra water drain through so I'm not uh, getting it in my house because I have to take them through my house to get down and actually I could take them through the slider down below. Yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. I didn't even think about that. Put on open the slider, but I'll still let them drain a little bit. There we go. than the ones I had last year. We'll see how this works. Okay. That way they can get like all the daylight from the day, just like they were would be on like a grow light. And then put this here. I don't know, maybe that'll work. So they'll be right in there. They'll be getting lots of light from this slider door window here. And we'll come back and check on them regularly, make sure to keep watering them, uh, fertilizing them. And yeah, we'll see how they do. All right, well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and my geraniums today. As you can see, I've got lots more geraniums to go around. <laughs> if you were my neighbor, I would gladly share with you. Uh, but yeah, they are they are looking beautiful, big and beautiful and colorful. I can't wait till they bloom. They're already starting to get like a little uh, heart on them in the middle there. So as soon as they get that that heart there, this little guy right here, as soon as they get that, they'll start to throw on a bud. So I haven't seen any buds yet, which is which is good. If I do see buds, I'll probably pinch them off just because I don't want them to get too crazy. Uh, but I'm gonna be leaving these up here for today just so I can kind of brainstorm on a plan. I might up pot them. Um, I might give a few to my mom straight away because I know she wants to plant up a hanging basket. Um, but I for sure will probably wait a few weeks before I plant 
my geranium seeds for next year. So anyway, uh, I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Really appreciate you poking on this movie and um, coming to my house today and hanging out. So hopefully we'll see you again. Uh, but until then, see you later. Bye.